Afternoon everyone, Rich here, back for another video for the Diecast F1 review. Here today is the Jordan Ford 191 for the 1991 Formula 1 World Championship. Model today driven by Michael Schumacher, or at least the Michael Schumacher version of it anyway. Um, Jordan 191, the first car of the Jordan Grand Prix team, also Michael Schumacher's first car as well. Um, he took one Grand Prix drive with the team and uh, pretty much made his name in the first 100 yards of his Grand Prix debut. He uh, qualified 7th for the Belgian Grand Prix and out qualified his teammate and, some, and pretty much all the other well established drivers further down the grid as well. He made his name that first round and his career pretty much took off as and when from there. Um, that's enough of the Schumacher part. But the car itself debuted at the United States Grand Prix. Uh, of course one car failed to qualify but uh, the team made its name at the uh, Canadian Grand Prix, where they finished 4th and 5th, scoring their first points, and went on to finish 5th in the Constructors' Championship with uh, 13 points. Could have been a lot more, could have even won the Belgian Grand Prix with Andrea de Cesaris in the car, but uh, late in the race the uh, engine overheated and blew up, but uh, he was on his way to, to catching Senna, the eventual winner, and uh, what a race that would have been. Um, absolute beauty of the car though, the uh, green colour with the 7 up logos on it and also the tic tac in the blue side as well. The tic tac I think was only for one race though, I think that was just Schumacher's personal sponsor so uh, that wasn't uh, a permanent thing. Um, also the 7 up changed a couple of times as well, I think that changed to Pepsi uh, when they got to the uh, Asia races. Um, but yeah, an absolute beauty of a car, proper shape how a Formula 1 car should look, wide track, fat tyres, high wings and uh, curves all over it. Pretty much like today's cars, although the curves are all in the wrong places. But it's a really nicely designed model, or does it designed car, designed by Gary Anderson for the Jordan team. It's first of many cars and uh, also the benchmark for, or pretty much the, the building blocks or building base I should say for the 92 car, but uh, the 92 car was hindered by a pretty rubbish engine so the 92 season was pretty much written off. Um, compared to their 91 season. 13 points in your first season ain't bad, especially when the top six, uh, only the top six scored the points. Um, both drivers, uh, Bertrand Gasho and Andrea de Cesaris, used the car well to their advantage, although Gasho was dropped from the Belgian Grand Prix onwards because of a fracas with a London taxi driver. Um, four, I think there's another, was it two more drivers after that took the car? The Chitteris started off then with Gasho. Schumacher came in for Belgium and then uh yeah, it's Alex Zanardi took over for the rest of the season after Schumacher dry uh no hang on. Uh for the Italian Grand Prix it was Roberto Marino. And then I'm not sure how many races he'd done, but uh, Alex Zanardi took over for a few races as well. So yeah, it was five drivers throughout the season. So I just had to to uh, remember what to do because I know when Schumacher joined the Benetton team uh, they dropped uh, Marino and Marino stepped in for Schumacher's seat with no success though. But yeah, beauty of a car, I've said that before, and a uh, very well made one as well. Not hugely uh, rare this model either, it's, uh, it, it do pop up on eBay quite often, but usually by uh, dealers selling them at ridiculous buy it now prices, you don't tend to get these very often at bidding prices, or you know, for uh, able to bid for them. Um, but they do sell quite well because uh, of course of the Schumacher name. The De Chiseris version is much rarer. You do get the De Chiseris version with the driver in the car as well. I'm not sure if they ever made a Gasho version. I'm not sure they ever did. Uh, but I know the De Chiseris version is available out there. The, the De Chiseris version also has uh, a different logo on the side. It has Fujifilm on the side apart from uh, um, Fujifilm instead of the Tic Tac. So that's uh, one of the differences there. Um, I don't think they ever did do a Gasho version, I'm not sure, I have to look that one up. Hopefully they, they, will, uh, they will remake this model, and uh, hopefully they'll remake it into the 92 car as well, because the 92 livery was very nice, it was very it was a nice blue colour for the 92 car. Um, and hopefully they'll make that one as well, but uh, never mind. Um, I know they did make it 143, but I think 118th scale is probably pushing it a bit. Um, anyway, onto the model itself. Very nicely made. The rear wing's a bit loose, as you can see. It's not well, not loose. It just flexes quite a bit. It's uh, very thin plastic, so don't put too much pressure on that. The front wing is 
pretty much all die cast apart from the side the uh, the uh, end plates all die cast front wing attached to the nose which the whole bodywork is uh, die cast right down to the floor it's only the floor that's plastic of course a flat floor with this era of Formula 1 and uh, with a massive diffuser on the back I will get round to that I don't want to drop this as we get round to the back with the twin tunnels diffuser on the back very slim bodywork as well very nicely sculpted and uh, beautifully made by MIDI champs it's got the uh, I would say coke bottle shape but you can't see it very well and I can't zoom out any further either, either. Um, but yeah absolute stunner of a car the light is not really doing it justice because the, uh, the light's on above me but uh, we'll just have a quick look in the cockpit very basic cockpit designs at the time basically a couple of buttons on the steering wheel a little bit of readout on the dash and that's pretty much it, it should be a gear, is it, was it a manual car? I can't remember if it was a, a stick shift car or or a, or a paddle shift but uh, I think it was a manual but we will just see and uh, of course we've got the detail of the seat belts no Schumacher figure for this model which is a shame but uh, not a huge issue I know some people don't like the drivers in the cars have a nice look at the uh, tyres and wheel Nice there, also on the front one as well. I love these uh, designs of the wheels. I think only Sauber used them up to recently. I don't think any. any oh, I think Sauber used them again now. But up to recently, mostly, mainly have been spokes or whatever, however you pronounce or call it, design of the wheel. There we go. Zoom out a bit more. And have a little look at the car from that angle. And yeah, absolute stunner of a model. Uh, price wise for this model, you're going to be quite well off with it, I think, because it's. Although it's they don't they do come up on eBay quite often they are um like I said they do come up on uh, uh dealers selling them they do come in uh, ridiculous buy it now prices they don't come in very often at bidding prices or bid prices um but they they do come on quite often the just the, the Chisera's version is the much rarer version so that one might be a bit more difficult to come by uh, but the Schumacher version tend to pop up at least one a week um. So at least try and get hold of one. They do sell for quite a lot of money there. The price though it varies. You can get one for about fifty pounds, and they tend to go up between fifty and a hundred pounds. Depends on who wants it though. Um, but I, quite, I was quite lucky with this, and I bought this one in two thousand and eight at the uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed, and they were twenty pounds then. And uh, I will prove that. I just got the box here. If I just zoom around this way. There's the box. Twenty pound. And it is the Schumacher one, as it says there. Jordan Ford, Belgian Grand Prix. Michael Schumacher. And yep, yeah, price again, £20. <laughs> and we picked up two of these at the time. They did have three, but we missed out on that one. But uh, we picked up two, one for my brother, one for me. And uh, we are very happy with that one as well. So uh, we could have picked up a couple more. But uh, the problem with uh, events like the Goodwood Festival of Speed, you got to lug it around with you, know, which is... Not what you want to do. Get in there early to, to uh, pick up all the cheap models, but then you've got to carry them around with you, which is the uh, other issue. Other than that, I walk 10 miles back to the car and put them in there. Then you got to walk 10 miles back just to get back to the showground. Yeah, there's, 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 no, there's no easy way around the uh, issue of carrying things you really want. Yeah, but never mind. Uh, we'll do another quick look under the car because there's no bits that come off of this one. I do like the uh, the way the blue goes underneath there. It's really nicely. It's plied decal there, and uh, this is the only plastic bit underneath. The only plastic part of the bodywork is the underside, or well, apart from actually, if I turn it up that way, yeah, the, 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 the plastic part of the, the car is plastic up to there, and then plastic up the side. I'm just trying to see where it goes because, yeah, the, the side of the car, this part here, it's plastic, but when it gets to the side pod, that's back to metal again. It's just, it's really unusual because the, the seam line in the plastic part is actually quite well hidden, it's uh, hidden under the, f the front part of the side pod so that's quite ooh, quite well hidden there and you just snap the front wing off no, snap the leg of the tripod off but uh, yeah, it's, other than that it's very well made, very well put together the steering is very heavy as well, well it's not heavy but it's very very stiff and very well uh, put together, it's not going to snap or fall apart it feels very very chunky and very well made I'm just wibbling it because it looks so good uh, the, rear, the, the tyres are very fat and uh, 
very solid rubber, they're not going to deteriorate. Very nicely made. And I love this car. Sits good in the box. I don't have this on display anywhere, that's why there's no dust on it. It sits in its box on the shelf and uh, it's admired from a distance. Um, but yeah, and we'll say to Mini Champs, will you please repaint this car as well and make it into the 192 for the 92 season with the Yamaha engine because that was such a nice looking car as well. <sighs> that's my rant over. Uh, but yeah, that's my review of the 191. Absolute beauty of a car. Um, the only issues I think with it, well I say not issues, but sometimes when you do see these for sale, the wing mirrors have popped off or broken off there. I think they're the only weak part of the model, the uh, wing mirrors. The rest of it is pretty solid, well, apart from the rear wing as well, which is a bit flimsy, but you know, it's, a bit, it's sort of a given really, because the, the rear wings those days were so not so much sophisticated, they're just very, very light. But anyway. That's my review of the Jordan Ford 191, and I shall return with another one. I was trying to think what I can review next. I've got plenty of cars to uh, review. So if you want me to review anything, drop a request, and I shall uh, see if I've got it, and I will review it. So uh, we shall see then. But anyway, this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with another review. So uh, bye for now.